Hello, I'm Adam Winston. I'm representing Kiel University and specifically the physiotherapy program that we uh, that we run there. Um, now, our physiotherapy program is designed um, to meet the requirements of students, uh, of physiotherapists, both today and for in the future. So we include a lot of skills um, within that that are very hands-on, very practical. Um, probably around 70% or so of the course is, is very hands-on, orientated to learning those skills. They're all the skills that students who are from Hong Kong need to be able to practice back in Hong Kong as well. Um, we are recognised by the Hong Kong Physiotherapy Board, so we, students that return back to work in Hong Kong, where there are a large number of jobs available um, that we're finding certainly this year. Um, and uh, they then have problems in, in being able to obviously secure work when they return. Um, things that are advantageous for students to have before they come onto the program is certainly some work experience. That they may not necessarily be working alongside a physiotherapist, but in a, in a caring capacity, maybe some volunteer work um, or even working with charities. Um, but we do have a large network of Kiel alumni in physiotherapy that work in Hong Kong now. Um, and we can facilitate students to be able to speak to those students for advice about coming to Kiel for physiotherapy, but also being able to you know, actually observe them working in, in the, the settings they work in, both in the government hospitals, private settings and, and other clinics as well. Um, but certainly we, uh, we ask for biology as a subject, that's one of the key criteria for physiotherapy at Kew. Um, usually we ask for a DSE grade 5 um, or an A level grade B in biology specifically. But we do have other routes available for students that don't have biology like our Health Foundation yet. Yeah.